did the Ford Bronco go? I don't know. Where is it? I'll check it out. 2020 track pack GT500. Looks good. This is the Ford Performance Blue. 100 and 105. We're waiting for the car to come around here. What we just bought. Already signed everything, everything is done. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So much to tell you and probably gonna take a couple of videos to do it. We've been gone for a couple of weeks, it seems like. I don't even know where to begin uh, creating YouTube content as, uh, as we move forward. So much to explain, so much has changed. Um, my disappearance over the last couple of weeks, uh, there is a rhyme and reason to it. We're gonna touch on some of this in later videos, but for today, two of my vehicles are, yes, getting traded in. We're gonna go up to the Ford dealership and we're gonna look at a couple of things. So, they've got some Ford Raptors up there. They have a new Ford Bronco, the new one that just came out. We're gonna check that out. Um, we're hunting down a replacement vehicle for two of mine. They're going away forever. One of them, I'm happy about. The other, not so much. So this one over here, if you guys remember, we bought it as kind of like a fixer upper to flip. I did that with a Jeep, made money when we flipped it. This one I bought from a friend of mine. And unfortunately, it is, well, it's got some trouble. It's going to honestly take a little bit more uh, than I thought to bring it back to life and make any kind of money off of it. You know, it is what it is. We're just going to trade it in. It's a 2001 uh expedition with a 5.4 it's an eddie bauer edition and the interior is pretty much okay but we've got some mechanical things going on that's going to take three times the amount of money that this thing is worth to actually fix it so it's not worth it to me this one i'm kind of okay with going perfectly fine with it you know we'll find another project vehicle to flip and make money that was kind of the whole point but it is what it is i'm not worried about it honestly this though my 2018 CBR 1000 RR is unfortunately getting traded in. So this one is going to hurt. Honestly, this is going to hurt me deep within my soul to get rid of this motorcycle. Time to say goodbye. You've been good. 4,000 miles. I did a little slip on exhaust, but um, yeah, we have to say goodbye. Gotta say goodbye. One last look at it. Oof. I don't want to do this. I really don't. All right, now let's get her to background. One last little look. So yeah, I've had this bike for about a year and a half. I bought it brand new, 2018 CBR 1000 RR, and I love it. I love it. If you guys are sport bike shopping, definitely check out the Honda model. I mean, it's great. The thing weighs like 430 pounds. It's a 1000 CC bike. They're super nimble. I love it every single bit of it mostly street driven motorcycle i mean you cannot beat a honda cbr 1000 rr you really cannot tft displays um everything is digital it's got all the different traction controls and stuff like that i mean i absolutely love this bike i really do i don't want to see it go but things have to be sacrificed for the greater good and that's what we're going to be doing today is saying goodbye to both of these so yeah what are we going to replace these with well like i said um lots to choose from at the ford dealership i always go to this one it's right down the road they know me well so they're going to take care of us but they've got a couple of new things out there like the new Ford Bronco we might be looking for trucks um, which would be cool because we could tow the Mustang with it the drag car but we really need a good daily so that's what we're gonna do is sacrifice the bike here we'll pick another one up down the road um, might go Yamaha this next time I don't know yeah real fast guys before we actually dig into this video any deeper where's the Mustang well if you haven't seen the last few videos I don't know where you've been. Click the cards up above and go check it out. But we dynoed over 1100 horsepower. We're getting things ready for 2021 to come out to the track hot and heavy. All right, we're not playing any games. We took big steps with the car for the year of 2020. But for 2021, we are not playing around. So that is the idea. The task and purpose for this winter is to build, build, build get it ready come out swinging very hard in 2021 still trying to wake up guys but i'm going to get some food in my belly we're going to go to the dealership we're going to go car shopping and hopefully by the end of this video we will have made up our mind what we have found what we chose to go with what we have bought to replace the beater and uh 
Yeah, it's a bike. 2020 track pack GT500. Look at this. Oh yeah, man. Carbon wheels, spoiler. Looks good. This is the Ford Performance Blue. 100 and 105. 106, round up. Box to the other. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is. We'll just buy one of these. This is it. Two hours later. Man. All right. So we are here hours later, and get the bike tucked away. So last trip in 30 degree weather, which wasn't fun, but I'm gonna miss the bike. I'll get another one eventually. I might go with a different brand this next time, maybe like an R1. It's kind of what it maybe should have done, but I do like the Honda. The, the Honda CBR 1000, especially with the 18 up, is, is really a great, great motorcycle. But over here, check this out. So, uh, they moved it. Oh no, they moved it. They moved it. There was a Ford Bronco sitting right here. Where did it go? Where did the Ford Bronco go? It was a Ford Bronco Sport. Iconic silver and now it's gone. Where might it be? Hmm. Where did the Ford Bronco go? I don't know. Where is it? Oh, check it out. What is that, an Edge ST? Sharp. Not a lot of Mustangs out here, but that's fine because that's fine because we have a Mustang, if you guys are new to the channel. But you know, for all of the OGs out there that watch me religiously, it's still in taxes. Still getting some work done to it. Uh, the engine and uh, all of that will be discussed in a later video but uh yeah good things are coming big things are coming like significantly huge so we're the plan is to hit 2021 strong as soon as the tracks open like we're not playing around this year so we took big leaps and bounds for 2020 but for 2021 we're bringing the a game that is the plan so it's up there at hell horse performance right now getting some love and may actually be up there for a while i don't know yet we're gonna have to just see how things develop we're gonna probably take a trip uh here soon up to hell horse and uh around houston texas so we'll get to check on the car see what's going on with it but before we do that so after this video the next one we'll actually be talking about some more of the things that are happening why it's going to take so long no it didn't blow up for everybody that's going to say that i know stang mode my friend just lost a engine and his gt500 and that's unfortunate uh i don't know if that car leaned out or what the deal is you know maybe we'll go live and we'll talk about it but um yeah it's a thirty thousand dollar engine plus maybe like thirty five thousand. i don't know where did the ford bronco disappear to where's the ford bronco we're waiting for the car to come around here what we just bought already signed everything everything is done i took nasty advantage of uh, ford's new one of their programs for the end of the year so um they had with what we bought they had a zero for 60 months zero percent for 60 months or they had a 1.9 for 72 months i chose the 1.9 and it's pretty it's okay because the end of 72 months total finance charges are like under 2000 bucks so the way that we can combat that is just pay a little extra every month towards the principal and it will be good to go so i could just trade it like a zero percent for 72. you know those of you guys that pay on your car note and you have good credit and all that you understand but uh yeah man I'm, i wonder where this ford bronco is where's the ford bronco but i don't know so i'm gonna go in here say goodbye we're gonna say goodbye to the bike Oh, it's freezing cold. Oh, man. It's a sharp motorcycle. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss this thing, dude. Taking the tags off. Well, sir, here's your uh, two keys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's official. Bam. Official. The, the yep. So, all right, we no longer have a uh, sport bike on the channel, guys. The other, the uh, the Expedition, mm -hmm. it was great, bought from a friend of mine. I know he's gonna watch this video and be like, bro, you know, like, I didn't know it had all those problems. But honestly, he didn't have it for a very long time. Yeah. But it developed 
some things that were we bought it as a as a as a like a budget build to be able to flip it, make money, and things just continue to decline. So nope. So dealership gave me five hundred bucks. I'm happy with that actually. It's okay. So now we have a new daily. It's going to it's going to come around here in just a second. I'm sure. Well, you're probably going to drive it, so I'll let you go do that. And uh, uh, the wifey will be happy. So it's going to. This is a gut punch. So letting go of the bike. There'll be more. Nope. You're right. There will be more. No. There will be more. That's a, that's the whole point. Yep. So <laughs> I'm still playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the game. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Rocky. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Here we go. I like this color. The new daily. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You like, I like it? it? Very nice. All right. You guys. You too. Be good. So we got a new 2020 Ford Escape. So, not a truck, not nothing super fancy, but this is a new daily, and really for her more than me. But you know, this part of the story, everything that we share on YouTube. So, brand new car, uh, great deal. Saved a bunch of money here at Jenkins and Win Ford. Little plug. <laughs> Come see Sean Allen. He's been on my channel a bunch of times. So him or Floyd Ward. Uh, yep, we'll take care of you. So, so it's an SE trim. SEL. What? SEL. It's an SEL. You're in an SEL. I thought we were in an SE. No, no. Oh, that's right, because we got the leather. Yeah. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm done. I would have bought. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not really my vehicle you know it's, it's for her yeah well I can just leave it it's the truth I mean so she's playing on her phone uh, leather all the goodies so SEL trim so all of the fancy stuff this thing is pretty sharp though I mean it really is um, yeah it's pretty nice it's kind of it's got the, the, the female curves I think but we got a masculine color so 2020 Ford Escape. That's it. The new daily. I've got my Mustang and uh, my toys, so this is more for her, but you know, pretty cool. I'll do another video like going over like everything about it because for some of you out there this might it might be relevant. And uh, I mean that is what we do. I'm an automotive YouTuber, so we have an automotive uh, car. So we have a car, so you know we're of course going to do a review and give you our thoughts. But yeah, that's it. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys this: it's not quite a V8. It's actually uh, a three-cylinder, 1.5-liter turbo, three-cylinder. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So they have the bigger engine options, and uh, this is the one that we chose to go with. And honestly, it drives pretty good. But uh, we'll cover that in a different video because some of you guys might be out there looking for a new daily, and uh, I think that this would satisfy a lot. So it's pretty sharp. We're gonna continue playing with our new toy and uh, bring you some more content later on. But yeah, kind of. It's okay. I like the color, but she likes the car more so than I do, but it's all right. But anyway, all right. I'll catch you guys later. I appreciate you watching. Congratulations to her. She got a new car. Uh, of course, I'm paying for it, but you know, we all know how that works. So anyway, we're going to play with it a little bit more, bring you some more content. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys next time. Wait a minute. This one's actually got nav? Yes, it has nav. I thought it didn't have nav. I thought it didn't have nav too, but this one has nav. It's got, it's got nav. Yeah. yeah, you're all set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I found some extra them. goodies already. Free navigation. A lot of them don't come with nav, but which is cool because you can still use like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and all that. But built-in nav, I like it. I'm a fan.